You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to rollermartinunfiltered.com. You can make this possible. All right, now many of us know Kirk Franklin as one of the top gospel artists uh, in history. Uh, folks, not somebody who's very controversial in terms of a brother uh, who focuses on his music. But my man from Fort Worth, Texas is not happy. Y'all, he posted this today on his Instagram account. Folks were blown away by what he had to say. And if you want to understand how white Christians mm -hmm. feel about social justice that impacts black people, Listen to what they did to Kirk Franklin. Today, I feel like quitting. I am heartbroken that I even have to share this with you. In 2016, I was blessed to win an award for Best Gospel Artist at the Dove Awards. Many of you may not know the Dove Awards in comparison are the Christian Grammys, like the Stella Awards or the Gospel Grammys. For so long, the terms Christian and Gospel for many are code words for white and black, which history may teach us was a setup for this unfortunate place we find ourselves in today. During that award speech, I felt the responsibility as a Christian and a man of color to address the civil unrest at that time that was plaguing our country with the killings of Philando Castile and Walter Scott, just to name a few, by white police officers. And at the same time, the horrific killings of five Dallas police officers by an African American. I called upon the audience to join me in remembering that as Christians, when we say nothing, we're saying something. After a standing ovation, we prayed and stood in unity for all the families affected by those tragedies. We all felt that moment that it was a shift in the climate of our separate worlds. Unfortunately, when that speech aired on the Christian Network TBN, that part of my speech was edited out. I made my disappointment and frustration known to the Double Wards Committee and to the Trinity Broadcasting Network. I never heard from TBN, and the Double Ward Committee promised to rectify the mistake so that it wouldn't happen again. In 2019, history repeated itself. I was humbled to win the same award, and during my speech, I brought attention to the murder of a Tatiana Jefferson in her home by a white police officer. I asked everyone in the audience and those viewing to join me in prayer for not only a Tatiana's family, including her eight-year-old nephew who witnessed the killing, but also for the family of the police officer. Last week, during the airing of the awards on the same network again, that part of my speech was edited out. So now, after a meeting with the Double Wards Committee and representatives of TBN, I've made the decision after prayer, consultation with my team and my pastor, Dr. Tony Evans, to not attend any events affiliated with or for the Double Wards, Gospel Music Association or TBN until tangible plans are put in place to protect and champion diversity, especially where people of color have contributed their gifts, talents, and finances to help build the viability of these institutions. I am aware that the word boycott often has a negative connotation and finality to it, but my goal will forever be reconciliation as well as accountability. It is important for those in charge to be informed. Not only did they edit my speech, they edited the African-American experience. I'm not asking those in the gospel community to follow my decision. No, this is my personal choice to take a stand and hold responsible those in positions of power to acknowledge the issues in our separate communities that have existed from colonialism to Jim Crow. To many of the issues facing us today, I pray there will be a significant change from this hurtful experience. I look with anticipation for that day of healing, and I'm committed to contributing to that process. In the end, we will not remember the words of our enemies, but the silence of our friends. And I know Kirk Franklin is saying it's just him, but I dare say any black preacher, any black evangelist, 
and any black artist who goes on the TV, who goes on TBN, should tell them, I will never come on again until you apologize to Kirk Franklin, until you fix this and remedy what took place. He should not be standing alone. This is pathetic. Mm -hmm. The fact that a Christian man who is from Fort Worth, Texas, spoke about the shooting death of Atiana Jefferson. Today is the day of rage. People all across the country are highlighting her case. And they have the audacity to cut it out. You know why? Because at the Dove Awards and TBN, they are white, conservative mm -hmm. evangelicals who are more in line with Donald Trump mm -hmm. and these MAGA people who don't want to criticize these white police officers, who don't want to speak against police brutality, who love talking about their being pro-life, but say nothing about the life of Artiana Jefferson, nothing about the life of Rakia Boyd, nothing about the life of, of, of Ayanna Jones, and numerous other African Americans who are killed. They say nothing. Mm -hmm. And then have the audacity to edit the man's comments out? You know, Oral, look, all I have to say is uh, that was a powerful statement he made. It reminded me of Dr. King's letter from the Birmingham jail. Mm -hmm. He really talked about the si as he said, the to silent... white clergy. Who stood by and watched uh, Dr. King be jailed, watched him be beaten and the others be beaten, and was silent. They talk about Christianity, but Christian, do unto others as you would have, have done unto you. So they want to get their behinds beat by policemen? or shot, had their kids shot through a window by policemen? You know, that what you do for the least of these, you do for me? I mean, these, these people are not Christian. They, they, they basically wrap themselves around a Bible, or wrap a Bible around themselves, and sin, everything they do is a sin. Because basically, they are attacking life. As you said, life. You can't say you're pro-life and watch people be shot. Right. Yeah. I mean, let's just be very real about who we're talking about here. Uh, these white evangelicals have historically and to this day preferenced race over what they claim they believe in terms of their religion. Uh, if you look even at what they're saying today, even beyond this issue, mm -hmm. there's been lots of research that shows that they think that they preference, for example, their support for Trump over any of their Christian values. I mean, when you think about what he has done and what he continues to do in his life, to sit there and praise him and raise him up like this shows you who they are. And, uh, you know, it makes me believe that, for example, switch people. I believe that if uh, Kanye West had been there, spouting his ridiculousness, uh, oh, what please. he had to say would not have been edited at all. No, not but at because all. you have an artist who has a black consciousness, who is willing and brave enough to talk about a black experience, that is not something that they want to allow in that lily white space. And so when you look about look at the history of evangelicalism, and how they specifically pushed out black people, this to me is quite in line with who they are. And just like the brilliant Dr. Maya Angelou said, when someone shows you who they are, believe them the first time. But you know, people in the black Christian community who've been on this network, who've been to these, they need who to follow. Who are currently on the network. They need to follow Kurt Franklin because basically what they have become for these people is a profit center. Absolutely. They are a profit center. And they're being played if they believe that these people care about them. They are being exploited, but perhaps they don't care because they need the visibility. Why don't all these churches get together and start their own dirt network as yes. opposed to basically sitting at Massa's feet um, asking Massa for crumbs. And that's literally what they're doing. I, I admire what Kurt Franklin said, but I, but I would be much more buoyed by his statement if we saw a thousand ministers say, yeah. I'm there too. If we, if we saw the Christian community, I'm going to watch that mess. Right. And, yeah. and, and, and they need to publicly. But see, here's the other piece. Not just black preachers. Yo, go to my iPad. I, I, I'm looking here. These are featured programs on TBN. I dare say that Beth Moore should say, until you apologize to Kirk Franklin and change, pull my program. Mm -hmm. Joyce Myers, same oh, yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. Pull my program. I'm looking on here. Bishop T.D. Jakes, pull my program. I see something down here called C.C. Winer, let them fall in love. C.C., pull your program. Charles Stanley, 
pull your program. We know Franklin Graham ain't gonna pull a damn thing because he don't care about black folks. Mm -mm. But I'm saying, Dr. Tony Evans of Dallas, pull your program uh, from them. Ed Young out of Houston, we know you ain't gonna do nothing because you had that foul crap you had to say about, uh, of course, Roy Moore supporting him in Alabama. We know you're not gonna say nothing at Second Baptist <laughs> Church in Houston. Oh, yeah. You didn't think I know that, huh? Uh, yeah, let's see who else is on here. Uh, Greg Lowry, pull your program. We know Mike Huckabee gonna do a damn thing mm. because he agrees with that crap. But I'm reading some of these folks uh, here uh, who have shows uh, on TBN. John Gray, pull your program mm -hmm. uh, from there. Joel Osteen, pull your program from there as well. Kenneth Copeland, all you care about is money, so we know you ain't pulling jack, so you, you, you wanna keep getting that money. But as I go down here, all these folks, if you are white and you supposedly care about social justice, you should tell TBN and the Devil Wars that they are dead wrong. And so I'm going to tell you right now, we're we going to stand with Kurt. We're going to keep this pressure on. And what we're going to do is we're going to call each one of these folks and ask them, are they going to stand with TBN and the Devil Wars or are they going to stand with Kurt Franklin? And that's going to determine whether or not you actually care about the black experience, that you care about social justice. And so this is not, let me be real clear, y'all, because we also covered that crap uh, with the word network when Kevin Adele was joking around with jo uh, George Bloomer. And Kevin Adele, I got his number, I text him, and he didn't respond to me. But the fact of the matter is, is here. Same thing. We call you out, Kevin Adele, at the word network. And the black preachers on the word network who are still silent, should be saying something to him by saying, until you apologize to George Bloomer for your actions as well. Y'all, we don't need these people to spread the gospel. We don't need to be on TBN and the Word Network. We sure as hell gonna hold them accountable. Dove Awards, y'all too as well. And so Kirk Franklin, I've already called Kirk. I sent him a text saying we stand with you and other artists should come out and support Kirk Franklin because to edit out that man's comments is beyond shameful. He was speaking about a Christian woman shot and killed by a cop in Fort Worth. Hmm. You had the nerve to say that that wasn't good? Y'all yeah, the same ones on your programs talk about Christians being persecuted in other countries. Oh, if a Muslim was persecuting somebody, oh yeah, y'all be all over it but you don't give a damn about black folks being persecuted and killed in the United States. Kirk is right, they are wrong, and we're gonna hold them accountable. All right, folks, back to our Hold My Unfiltered video in just one moment. Second annual Life Low Jazz Experience in Cabo, November 7th through the 11th. I will be there broadcasting Roller Bart Unfiltered there on that Thursday and Friday. Uh, if you want to participate, if you want to come out, it's going to be a grand time. 14 amazing acts. Go to lifeluxjazz.com. But if you cannot make it, you can still check out the live stream. You can have a guest pass, folks, $10.99, to watch all of the concerts over the course of three days. I'm talking about some amazing artists. Now, of course, my frat brother, Jill Albright. Of course, we had Kirk Whalum on the show last week. He's going to be there as well. Some of the other people who are going to be in the house, actor, comedian, Mark Curry. Oh, my goodness. Donnie McClurkin, Alex Bunyan, Raul Madon, Incognito, Pieces of a Dream, Average White Band, Shalea, Roy Ayers, Tom Brown, Ronnie Laws, Ernest Quarles. Man, it's going to be jam-packed. If you want to get the live stream, go to GFNTV.com. That's GFNTV.com. GFNTV.com. You can watch all three days, live stream, all the concerts right here on your phone, on your iPad, on your computer, just for the cost of $10.99. So we certainly want you to do that, and we look forward to the Life Lux Jazz experience there in Cabo. Now back to your Roland Martin Unfiltered video.